We can't dump it. So what's the third Instagram? Does he get cut off on this one too? I can't remember if he gets cut off on this one, but he's announcing his um, affiliation with a new app, a new social media app. <laughs> so it's beyond Instagram. Okay, good. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm on a new phone application right now called Hanging With. Uh, I can chat live with my fans and friends. I'm going to be doing another broadcast today. You can use your iPhone to get the application for Hang With. It's going to be great. You can chat. <laughs> but, but Arthur, I'm going to get cut off. No, but the good thing about this new thing is you have anywhere from three to nine minutes to chat with people. And they can talk but about But did you hang in with? Yeah, hang with. I, I, I looked it up. I couldn't find it. Hanging, W-I-T. H-A-N-G slash with. It's all, you can get it the app well, on. My, with, like, W-I-D-T-H? W-I-T-H. It's on. If you, oh. have an, uh, oh. if you have a, what do you call it, an iPhone, you can get it. So now you did this already? Yeah. With how many fans? I, I don't know. I haven't checked the fan base yet, but I started. It's fun because this is just the beginning of it because you can do anywhere from three to nine minutes. You can shoot, like, sketches and stuff and get everything oh, out there. Yeah. I'm just, I can't wait for the first sketch. No, it's going to be fun, man. I've been super... In, you've inspired me to work hard. But, but what, what are you going to do? In other words, I think you should pick one of the... So, like, I'm just doing Twitter, and my guys put the put stuff I put on Twitter up on Facebook. I don't have time for it. I don't know how to do it. So I just chose Twitter to focus on. You guys are well, awesome, that's actually. You have to do. You, gotta, your books you should focus on it's not one of them. I just want to get out there more because this thing is good. Because What's the best vehicle for you? I don't think the 15-second things work. No, this, the other thing is like from three to nine minutes, and, but your and, fans can talk about it. And can you drive the best vehicle for you? That's uh, the question. Yeah. You can't drive either. I can, I'm can. i going to start out with a moped. When's the Chicago gig? All my friends out there now. We're going to come back and plan, start putting so together So you don't have a, a gig door. in the books? Uh, actually, I'm going to be at a new club at the end of this month. What do you call it? Uh, it's called Comics. Is there a it's comedy club? It's for last Sunday in September. That's a definite. Yeah, yeah. In Chicago. September? In New York. And I, oh, God, Dad, I'm sorry. This, this is March. Oh, no, April. I'm sorry. The, Mike, is there a date? <laughs> yeah, I'll talk more about it, Rod. So last Sunday in When April, are you going to talk more about it? I got to just get all the right information before I, before I put it out there. Like, and it, I... <laughs> So the last Sunday in September, so and you're just letting your fans do April, research on sorry. the date. You're giving, yeah, I'll put it out. They'll, but they'll figure out the date. Mike, it, you want a suggestion for me? Absolutely. One yeah. of these girls that you're trolling for, make sure they have secretarial skills. Yeah. Have a nice calendar for you. Make them an assistant. Exactly. And yeah. make sure they don't have an easy gag reflex. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm selective when it comes to women and guys. You know that. Well, you should be. I mean, clearly. I mean, you, you can afford to be, is my point. I can be, Art. I, you got to love yourself. I, I love myself as what much girl, as I... What girl that's wanted you have you turned down lately? Uh, in real life? No, none. But Facebook and Twitter. I, I keep getting <laughs> stuff like, Shane, it's funny. I keep getting things in my fa Facebook inbox, like from girls like from other countries, like, hi, I want to be a friend. Like, hi, I want to be a citizen. No. No more catfishing for me, baby. <laughs> well, maybe they want to be a citizen. No, I don't care what they want to be. Let them get hit on their own if they have to get well, here. Well, why even reply to them? You see, you're wasting time. I don't even listen to them anymore. They you check. don't know me from Adam. I'll look in the inbox and go, okay, don't even answer them. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Ignore any idiots, like you said. Anybody's an idiot, don't even fight with them. Ignore Who's them. on the show? Oh, thanks. Oh, this is fun. I, uh, what do you call it? Tonight, George in studio, uh, comedian Carmen Lynch. Young comic, supposed to be very funny. She's great, Audie. She's on Letterman. You 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 know how do you know every comedian who comes we, in here? We were on last comic together. 10 you years were? Ago. Yeah, first season. She Mike, made the next. Cannot, there were a thousand comedians even, on that one show. No, no, I'm not no, even kidding. No, no, she how was many, on. How many uh, under over? How many comics has he been on last comics? Forty. I, no, 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 no. Common was on the first season with me. She made to the finals to Las, Las Vegas. How many seasons were you on? Uh, one and four. Jesus. I made it first, say, further the second time in L.A. Are these people you just met online? No, or? no. Carmen was on the show. She's awesome. You'll see. I'm not saying she's not awesome, but you've, you've, it's an extraordinary amount of people you've been yeah, on the show with. A lot of people are on that. Like some people, like the great Mike DiStefano was on there. A lot of good people made it on. Last Comic Standing? Yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, I guess, actually, the last one. Is it Mike DiStefano? Yeah, the, the guy who died? Yeah. But one, Craig Giraldo is one of the last judges <laughs> on there. I know. Well, you're bringing up sad things now. No, but it's not sad. Autumn's... Whenever, whenever you're cornered into, into a, 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 a conversation you don't want to be in, you bring up sad things. No, so it's no not one sad. Can say anything about. Greg, Greg is awesome. Love him. I knew. Well, Greg's him. dead. But he, you got to remember, remember him. He's online. He's still alive, but it's forever. I don't remember. Your body's very forgiving. He didn't have nice things to say about you. Who else? Okay. <laughs> oh God. Oh, this is awesome. Tonight in the second hour, actress, singer, and author, Deanna Martin. 
Deanna Martin, very talented in her own right, but she's the daughter of the great Dean Martin, one of the best men who's ever lived, without question. Go ahead. And uh, uh, this is awesome, Watt. Here's the intervention I'm talking about. I love this guy. Hanging uh, out throughout the show, retired NBA world champion, actor and TV personality, the great John Sally. John Sally is uh, a multi-talented guy, a great basketball player with a bunch of rings on a couple of different teams. And... Uh, He's also a real funny guy. John's one of those guys who could be a talk show host. He's going to save you all the length. He's funny. No, I don't want him to do that. I don't want him to do that. Uh, he's we got need a... you, though. The world would suck without you. He was... mean I'm not dead? What are you he... talking no, about? No, I'm saying health-wise. Would... He, he was drinking this afternoon because there's no way that he... I, I have the tape of him saying the Knicks are going to be in the finals next year. Uh, John did? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, he, you know, he thought the... Yeah, I read. That's right. He liked the Knicks. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to say something to get noticed. It doesn't mean anything. You know, you got to say shocking things. If one of them hits... Why doesn't he say, I'm dating Gwyneth Paltrow? That's a little more... Well, that's very shocking. <laughs> uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to get a piece of that now that she's single. What about that, Mike? Why don't you tweet her? Gwyneth, it's a cutie. She's a hot one. Super hot. Yeah, she's, uh, she's smoking. Where's Alyssa Milano in the band? I'd love to listen to her crap all day. I'm sure we'd get along. Artie, it's 3 p.m. Are you getting up? No. <laughs> I'm going to the Hamptons. Okay, can I come? No. Bye. Oh, okay. man, the neighbors in Los Angeles are starting to turn on her. They all said, he's so nice and she's such a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I never bought into that guy. They're like a poor man's U2, that group. He starts, he's another one with the bare feet sometimes. Why do you keep his shoes on? The Romans had sandals. Right. That's what the show's going to be tonight, guys, stuff like that. So, that. That kind of back and forth is what you're yeah. looking forward to. I said that Chris Martin... I don't understand him. He's a poor man, you two, and he doesn't put shoes on. And Mike said the Romans have sand. They would, they would, back if they ruled the world. 50 degrees in here. I'm actually okay. Okay. I'm a freak. I don't know why. We've had a couple days off. Now we're back. How was your day off? Awesome. You know, it's like having a normal schedule. It was nice. You got to see people, got to socialize. You getting prep for your UK? Uh, party. Yes. Saturday. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's just the heck, yeah. Is that no, it would be like C, A. No, that's not that's a, a. No, the A is like the, oh, that's the A. T? No, that's an O. T. Guys, you better get your shit together F. before this weekend. What was, what's the A? This is the A. Oh, yeah, I guess they did do that as a. Uh, yeah, what's the S? This. Yeah, what? This. No, what was the S? Like this? What? Oh, that's the oh, S. That? Yes. C-A-T-S, cats, cats, cats. All right, now do it all together. It's like it's YMCA, ready? Right? And go. C-A-T-S, cats, cats, cats. Hey, we should here? do it the same way, though. Yeah, you're making like an anagram right now. Like this? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll go this way. Okay, everyone. We'll go this way. We'll check back with them later. Why? It would have been <laughs> awesome. Um, I thought, I thought it would be cool. over John's spot. Uh, that's a very, that's not an easy thing to fill. You, know you think I mean? you could do it, though? Uh, I don't know that much about sports, though. That's the only thing. We don't, like, to even talk that much about sports. You could wing it. I'd you have could to start watch. watching sports. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, and then you, can, you, you know, could start, you know, knowing what's current but, in our world. Yeah, but if that if that did happen, right, then you girls should be here. And we can just announce guests. And uh, do whatever you want, yeah. I don't want to be an announcer. I'm teasing you. No, but you know why, why not? It would, it would be cool. You girls have been here a long time. I want my support. own show. Yeah, no, uh, we want our own show called The Absolutely. Liz and Marie Show. We should pitch it to MTV when we have that kind of plot. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No. Uh, or somebody better, like, you know, or on HBO <laughs> or Showtime or somebody. Oh, yeah. With a show. HBO has a lot of great programming, yeah. girls. I know. Yeah. Get it on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. totally. They're, look, they're always looking for content. I know. Totally. Well, you know, now that you're really part of the machine, now that you're sitting up there, he said he could take the over. John's job. John. He can take John's job. We'll take his announce yes. And where's John going to go? We don't know. He can go in the back and answer phones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, I, I could never do any girls on the phone. But you know how I'll be fighting with people on the phone. It'll be brutal. <laughs> it's cool. I love you guys for that reason. Wait, because... wait, how do we get the hip? No, I'm saying you guys are super up on current events and stuff. It's like everybody so on the say show. You say you're hip? I'm trying to get hip. I mean, you know, Liz and Marie and Shane and you guys are like, and yourself. What's this? Would, would you, is this a, is this a pocket here on the shirt? I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's Americana, baby. Red, white, and blue. Well. You keep your cigarettes in there? No, I haven't smoked since 1998. Uh, wow. Yeah. That's good. 
You're really on the right path here with the Nutrisystem, not smoking. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to hate it after a while because I have no more vices to have fun with. You know what I mean? Like drinking and food and like... You still got vices. You got, you know, social media, Twitter. That's kind of your vice now. You know, you like yeah, yourself. Yeah, I'm OCD with it, but... Anger is like your drug. You get very angry. Yeah, but what well, if I was smoking pot, I wouldn't be angry anymore. No, then pot... I'd be, I'd be handsy. I, I see what you <laughs> I like that. Well, tomorrow you'll have a celebration with the family and all that? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be no cool. But no cake, it's Nutrisystem. What do you do? Uh, make, make three, lying shots. Make three of uh, Nutrisystem's a giant cake. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. <laughs> and, and you think I, I the, the Instagram invite is going to be the bait? No, no, I only like to like break balls with that, but I mean, you know, maybe James will help me get some chicks. I don't know if that's the best one to go with in the studio. I don't know. He's probably good at one. He, I don't know. He's very low-key low about it. I don't know. I don't know about James. What about the... I think, uh, Dan, I think you get a better shot of Dan helping you get a chick than James. Dan is an expert with that. A girl, he said James. I said, you might have a better shot with Dan helping you be, be your wingman. Dan would be a great wingman. He, he'll, he'll talk you up. He was disgusted. I, I, I went to the bathroom and she looked at me walking and she was like, I'm disgusted. <laughs> like, if she could, t she looked at me and then looked back down on her phone and went, I felt like she was texting a friend. If you saw what I'm seeing right now, <laughs> you would throw up. I'm at, I'm at, I'm with John, I'm at some show. The host is like a rhinoceros. And the people with him, they're just, there's the least cool individuals. I'm disgusted. This is a foul looking show. She had a look, she had a look on her face as if she was saying, look, I may throw up. You all are just, just disgusting. I, I'm with, I'm with a, an NBA guy with a huge penis. <laughs> And I'm on my phone. I'm a better dresser than everyone here. I'm very pretty. I haven't had to ask for anything in life. It's been given to me. If I got to ask one thing now, though, it would be, I, I, can I leave this <laughs> disgusting place with John Sal? Do you think that's the real reason John had to get out of here? He got the look from her? Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you, that, you know, I guess John's good enough with women to wear. Maybe he doesn't get those looks. I like to think even John gets those looks from a chick that hot. You got to know how to handle a broad. My father said it to me. He said it to me when we were working on a roof. I was about 14 years old. We were on the top of a roof in Newark in February. And he looked at me and he said, you got to figure out broads. That's the key to the whole thing. You got to figure out broads. And he even said to me, he goes, even Sinatra didn't figure them out. Sinatra had problems. It's a very powerful thing. Happy birthday, Mike Boschetti. Thank you, Audie. Back after this.